scrolling. Hey, people, what's up? It's Jamil, and I, you know what? Uh, one of the best things about the gang stalking program is, is my ability my ability to get faster now. I've been lifting weights. You know how you put the, the weight on your back, and you can do you can do like the squats, and you work the calves? I've, I've been doing that a lot, right? Like, for like, off and on for the last month, like every other day. And I've been doing the jump rope a lot. And the jump, the jump rope's getting fun, like how you can how you can hit it, and you can run in place, and bam, one of them, do it a couple times, like three three times on one foot here, three times on one foot there. And you can, while you're doing it, you can turn around any way you want to turn around and go back and forth, back and forth. And it's just like, it's just getting extremely fun. Then I got to the point where I started jogging. And now when I started jogging, like, I was just like, man, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, you know, I haven't been out here running in a long time and running in a long time. And so jog, jogging helped, jogging like felt good. Then I started speed running, like running up and down the street from my house to the stop sign. And that 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 that's been fun. And then I'm starting to feel lighter. Like today, I feel so damn light. My legs feel stronger. Like now, my legs are starting to feel stronger than than um, my upper body. You know how your legs are stronger than your 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 arms anyway. And so, and I'm like, damn, my legs are getting strong. And so, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to keep making my legs stronger and start hitting that jump rope harder and running faster. And then, like now, I'm going to be able. To, I'm going to be able. I'm not going to be fat anymore. And I'm going to be able to. I'm going to be able to get away quick. Like if I wanna if I wanna play around with the program and try to and try to hide from the program and run stuff, I can go out to some area of the city and, and like fight, go 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 a few go somewhere else I've never been, and, and go in there and just walk up to people, and start telling them about the program. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna leave, Bye. And, and take off, run down an alley, hit a fence, run through somebody's lawn or something like that, come out the other side, go to another neighborhood and do it. And that's what <laughs> that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do with like when, like later on in the summer when August comes, I want to start playing with the program. And be able to like zig and zag and stuff like that. But like, you can't catch me now. It's like a leprechaun, be, like disappearing and stuff like that. Be like, I'm not fat now. You remember when I was fat and I couldn't, I couldn't get away. And like, I'm not fat anymore. Now I'm, now I'm, gonna, now I'm gonna get away. Now I'm gonna be able to play with you like I want to. Before I would have ran out of air. Now I got all the air I need. Now I'm starting to learn. I'm starting to learn how to get my air up, man. And it's like that's that's one of the funnest things of gang stalking. And uh, you know, and the program. See the program is pretty cool. The program, the program, um, te the program teaches me a lot of stuff. And like, there's this girl down the street from me. She has, she, she's not a girl. She's a woman. She, she fucking, she, you know, she's attractive. She's hot. She has blonde hair and all that stuff. And she, I was in a situation where I never really talked to her, and I was starting to notice her more. And then she has a boyfriend that comes over there and stuff. And so the program will have like him driving her car by me or whatever. And I'm like, I'm not a hater, man. And, you know, she's with him for a reason. She wants to be in the car with him. And so it's like, it's acceptable. And so I give him his props. I'm like, yeah, that's cool and stuff. And, you know, it's like, what am I supposed to Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not like that. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't do stuff like that. And so, but what I've been learning about the program is since I started getting gang stalked last year, last summer, and then now, like, I'm far more open with stuff. Like, I'm like an open book. It's like, I don't care what anybody, you know, I don't care how I come across to somebody. As long as I'm being myself, that's what's important. And so I just lay it down. Damn, it's thunder now. It's 12 o'clock, 12.36. And it's supposed to be thundering. It's supposed to, the thunderstorm's watch supposed to be till 5. And so I, you know, I got, I, I want to get out there by 3 o'clock and work out. And run and stuff. And hit this jump rope. And all this. But, anyhow. So, anyhow, and then and then see with the program, now I'm excited about helping people who are being gang stalked, and a lot of people aren't aware of, of, of who I am and what I've been through. A lot of people come on here and they see me talk about gang stalking, and they're just like, man, this is interesting, but, but, like, I did so many years of conspiracy research, then I did a bunch of interviews, then I had got recognized by the powers that be the fraternal order of secret societies, be a life death situation in Hollywood, California, right on the walk of fame. And it's so cool because some of these people, some of these groups, one of the groups actually put presidents in the White House. Another group, you know, basically runs the motion picture industry. And, and so I got the chance to, like, meet these people in person. And that was, like, a hell of an experience. And now I kind of, now I kind of, like, look up to the secret societies in a strange way because I studied them for years and years and years and years. Then I met them in person. And then after meeting them in person, then I beat a life death. And so it just kind of, like, they kind of, like, grow on you a little like now it's just like 
I'm just like, man, you know, the secret societies are all right. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I, it's more, I feel more personally connected to them. I don't feel like, you know, because a lot of conspiracy theories, there's a lot of conspiracy theorists out there who, who sit back and they write books and stuff and they do stuff on the internet or they make DVDs and stuff like that. And if they get to a certain level, then they become, then they get with these people and they, 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 they get membership so they keep doing what they're doing or they can do what they do better. And it's like with me, it's like I earned my stuff, man. It's like I earned all my stuff with like the sweat and the tears and like blood, you know, it's like I, I literally beat a life death. I literally had to grind through gang stock and learn how to beat gang stock and I'm helping other people do it. Just like I earned my place, you know, I didn't, I didn't back down and at the same time I didn't. I didn't do the cowardly thing. I didn't join some group or something like that. I don't want, I don't want that attached to me. I want to I want to do my own thing. And so it's like I earned my way. And it's like they re they know that. It's like they respect the secret societies respect me more cuz when they look at me, they're like, "Yeah, he isn't all big on television. Yeah, he isn't, you know, he isn't on the history channel or he doesn't have 10 books out or whatever, but he earned his way. Like he like we know who he is. Like they respect me more because of that. I think I feel that's how I feel about it. And so, you know, that's pretty cool. And and so this gang stalking thing is going to make me be like not only the only person in the world or the first person to be gang stalking, it's actually going to make me the most popular conspiracy theorist in the world because it's going to, it's like, I can see it, I can see it building up now. That's what's going to come eventually. And so, you know, that's why I'm working. That's why I'm putting stuff together. And I'm changing my courses. My courses were like $50 a week. Pretty soon it's going to be up to fifty dollars an hour because <laughs> I'm serious. Because number one reason is this: is all you need is an hour. All you need is an hour. You don't need several hours a week to do it. All you need is one hour, and then you take notes, and then you come back. You know, you can do another fifty dollars, and then you'll be straight. You know what I mean? And so we're gonna we're gonna start. You know, we went from doing free work to fifty dollars a week. Now it's going to be moved up to fifty dollars an hour because that's how good we got it down. That's all you're gonna need is one hour. You're you're not gonna need to sit there and talk to me for hours and hours and hours. All you need is one hour. That's all you need. And so that's that's pretty cool. And man, I people don't know what I went through with the gang stalking thing. It was pretty intense. It was a hell of a it was a hell of a thing. It was a hell of a thing. And I tested the program a lot. That's how I beat the program, is I was testing the program. You know? I was testing the program. And I feel so good now that I'm losing weight and I'm getting faster. Because I was talking to this guy on the phone. He's in the hospital. And he got shot in the leg the other night. He got robbed and shot in the leg. And I was thinking, like back when I, back when I was fatter, if somebody would have had a gun and been able to ride, they might have been able to get away with it. But now that I'm so fast, like if somebody would have, somebody would have been like, oh, I just be like, bam, just jumped out and just, been, bam, just hit him in the mouth real quick and made him drop the gun. And then I'm fast enough, I can take off. You know what I mean? I'm getting to that point now. I want to be out. I want to be able to hit fences and stuff like that. I want to be playing with the program. I want. I want. Them, I want them to bring those helicopters out and chase me with them helicopters and stuff. That's what I want to do. I want to turn it into like an action movie and stuff. You know, For real. I want. I need a cameraman or something. We're gonna turn it into an action movie. I want to be out there running through the street. Now, 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 when the cars with the headlights come. See, I'm not all fat. I don't have to like. I'm not all slow and stuff. I won't be able to just. Bam, 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 bam. Hit a corner, bam, 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 hit a corner, bam, 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 bam. run, run and jump in a bush somewhere, come out, bam, 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 bam. It's like if they, if they, if they were ever watching the satellites, they're really gonna have to watch me some satellites now. I want, I want to be out there hitting it. I want to be out there. It's raining. Damn it. Weather in Michigan is crazy. It's crazy. And so. That's what I'm doing. And the people who call me and go through gang stalking, after talking to me for 30 minutes, they feel so much better. They're like, I can actually stand up to the program. I'm like, yeah, man. You can do anything you want to do. If you want to stand up to the program, you can stand up to the program. You know? And it's like, it's like, oh my God. It's like, they feel like I gave them a permission slip. It's just like, you, I can actually, I'm like, yeah, you know, you can beat the program if you want to. And, and that's all they need. All they need is that permission, that approval. And then they need to learn a little bit of tactics. And then they got it. They got it. 